YouTube, welcome to my channel, Anna Bella. Today I'm going to be reviewing Warhammer Age of Sigma Mortal Realms issue 68. In issue 68, you get five Night Haunt figures. So let's go to the table and check them out. Hello, YouTube. We are finally at the table to do the Warhammer Age of Sigma Mortal Realms review of issue 68. Here is the magazine. Here is the plastic also known as plastic crack, because Warhammer is addictive, by the way. And here we have one, two, three, four, five bases. They do not have slits in, so these are going to be fiddly diddly awkward figures to put together. And they're night haunt ones, so be extra careful when clipping them out. Let's crack on with the magazine. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, here we have the contents page for this issue, which is... 68, if you did not know. Then we've got the Stormcast Eternal Desolators, which are just massive dragons with an oodle of with oodles of armour on them. So here we have Hammers of Stigma, Tempest Lords, the Anvils of the Helden Hammer, the Hallowed Knights. Then we've got Destruction Trogoths or Troggoths. Some kind of trolls. The Realms, The Great Parch, Part 2. Then we've got How to Build the Blade Hast Revenants. Oh, look, we've got heads. One, two, three, four, five heads. And alternative build options are happening here. So let's see where these heads are at. So you've got one there. Two there, three there, four there, and five there. So you've got five heads for five figures. So here we go. Putting them together, clip, 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 gluing them on. So that is what they should look like. Arise, minions, arise and share death's gift. Then we've got how to paint them. Then rust and weathering. War scroll. And this is war scroll for the night haunt and it's 21 and they're the shroud guard. The Marches of the Blades, the March of the Blades, and that's the battle plan for it. And then if we flip over, in issue 69, we're getting Sterling Mud and Storm Shield. I cannot believe that we're at issue 69. And then at issue 70, you get this awesome Night Haunt champion figure. You do not want to miss out on that at all so and there's only 80 issues in this collection so we're getting near the end my people here we have my second um stigma statue this is as far as he's got with his painting he's had a white coat then he's had some gray on the top so yeah same with those so they've had some black for the coal obviously i've got to get crack on and get the flames done this has finally had its little skulls. They've had their second coats of white on. I've got to reapply the brown around them because obviously and sort that out at some point. These are coming on quite nicely. They just need some of the weathering and the rust on. And I'm quite happy with how these have turned out, to be absolutely honest. Now, last week's figure is here. Still in three parts because that's important. He's just had the gold coat. This is he's had two coats of gold on, and then I've redone another layer of administration grey because obviously some of the gold ends up quite clearly. You can see it's ended up on his body. So I am really, really going to have to give it a I think just a little more, just touch it up a little bit, both on the gold and on the grey around certain areas. See, look, some of the greys accidentally got on the cloak there. So that'll have to be redone. It's just doing these little touches. 
yeah because when you do a base coat you really want to make sure see they've still got some white there so we're going to have to go back over and that's fine because when you first initially do your basic coats you just want to get it on now it's being a little bit more careful now on here i've done some brown so obviously i'm going to have to put get the gray out again and just get rid of the areas where it's spilled and it's the same here but you do actually want the details on this space because the space is so delicious see look there's a foot and that is a foot but it's also surrounded by organic matter because when you put this i know it may seem really weird like you've painted all of that brown yes because it's a tree but when you put it on, you're actually not going to see that much of it. But you still need to do it because when you turn it round, you're actually going to end up looking at quite a lot of it. So you just want to get these little things all sorted out. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Take care and stay safe where you are. And thank you for your continued support. Bye.